Before we start this video, along the way, on my journey to this fish and chip shop, the Codfather, I bumped into this lovely gentleman who lives in the Lake District and showed me his lovely collection of cars, and he watches the channel. And he said, I watched your video the other week where you uh, almost went to the Codfather, and it's a good job he didn't, because it's not very nice, is it? And now I've not quite got to the Codfather yet, but don't worry, I'll get there cool. along the way. What's what's your uh, opinion on the Codfather? Well, it's, it's you know don't to um, get myself in trouble, Lee. You know, um, but um, it's um, I've been there once. Yeah, and I, I won't be rushing back, but I hope your experience is much more positive than mine. <laughs> <laughs> but my wife wasn't impressed, and my, my I was in a doghouse that night. <laughs> so. You know, so I'm not... <laughs> watch the video. You'll meet this lovely gentleman along the way on my journey uh, to the Codfather, uh, where we're going to try these out. Now I don't know whether they're any good yet or not, and you'll find out when you watch the video. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So over to me on the intro. Yeah. Now then, my friends, a few episodes ago, I think it might have been about a month ago. Uh, I came to Ambleside. Now, I'm not in Ambleside today, but we're going to go to Ambleside. We're going to go on a boat, do it a bit differently rather than going in the car. Um, and I was told and warned away from a place called the Codfather. And I think the video was called, I was warned not to go here. So I didn't. I went to a different fish and chip shop there. And I believe from memory, they were fairly nice. But I didn't actually give the Codfather a go. And I think that's a little unfair. I should actually give them a go. I can't say I was warned not to go here and then give it a bad reputation without actually trying it out. Now I'm hoping they haven't actually seen that video um, because they might not be very pleased with me. So I think what I'll do is I'll take my glasses off a little bit. I mean, it works for Clark Kent. It might work for me. Does it, do I look like the same guy? I don't know how that works. Uh, anyway, so we're going to head over there today on the boat over to Ambleside, try these fish and chips out at the Codfather. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you can have a free wee. Now that sounds a bit odd, doesn't it? Or a free number two, whatever you want to do, because the toilets in the Lake District charge you 50 pence to have a wee. And I reckon that's daylight robbery. That's taking the pee. And I figured out a way of actually getting a free wee. Not that I'm saying you should do it, because you shouldn't. You should pay. You shouldn't do anything illegal. Uh, but I did find out a free way. Anyway, we're going to show you that uh, at the end of the video. But don't skip to the end of the video. We're going to go and get the fish and chips first and capture some uh, sights along the way on one of these boats over to Ambleside. So if you're new to the channel and at the end of the video you do like the content, uh, do give us a thumbs up and also think about subscribing. And if you think the video is rubbish, give us a thumbs down. It's your call. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Right, okay, because of the weather, uh, I'm going to go to Pier 2. Um, I can only get a single to Ambleside and I may have to get a bus back because uh, apparently there's bad weather coming. So let's get over there. I'm just going to get a one way to Ambleside. Right, here we go, Pier 3 over to Ambleside. And then we might have to get a bus back. Thank you. Brilliant, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Right, we are off. Shiver your timbers. Or is it shiver me timbers? Shiver me timbers? Shiver your timbers? I don't know. Where does that saying come from? I don't even know where that came from. Onwards. Well, I don't think I've ever taken a boat for fish and chips before. Or have I? Do you know what? I've done that many videos, I don't know. Have I taken a boat anywhere for fish and chips? Maybe in Australia? I can't remember now. Some nice little uh, holiday huts there at the side of Lake Windermere. 
that'd be nice in summer. I guess so also in winter as well, when it's a little bit snowy on the hills. I'm getting flashbacks now of being on that bus in San Francisco where I was ill the next day because it was freezing. <laughs> it's a bit, it's more than brisk. Yeah, it's all right for you. You got a fur coat on. So as I said earlier on, um, there may not be a boat back because of the uh, weather. However, uh, there is a bus and I'm thinking that might be a better idea anyway in the warmth. Yeah. <laughs> it is, it's very cold. Good grief. <laughs> A lot of people going downstairs because of how chilly it is. However, I'm staying up here. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna stay it out just for you. So uh, do give us a thumbs up and uh, maybe think about subscribing <laughs> and send us a send us a blanket or something. I need one of them pocket warmers that you got as a kid where you put a piece of charcoal in. Do you remember you light the charcoal? It would be covered in velvet or something. Then you put a little bag, put it in your pocket. That'd keep you warm for hours on end. Uh, we're now at the largest part of the lake apparently. By the way, uh, Windermere is uh, the largest lake in England. I think I'm right with that one. I've been on it many times, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to stick my neck out and say it is the largest lake in England. Kind of jealous to go downstairs in the warm. I'm sticking it out. I'm sticking it out. I'm a trooper. getting married. That's uh, two people I've seen getting married in the last few weeks on my videos. Where was the other one? I was in, uh, I was in Los Angeles wasn't I? But it was a lot warmer for them but uh, beautiful backdrop to get married to. I think he's gonna need a drop of whiskey when he gets in there to warm up. I bet that's where they're having the reception up there. Nice place look. lives in a house like that. Somebody that can afford to put the heating on eight months of the year. <laughs> mansion over there was built as a private mansion apparently in the 1800s it's now a, a hotel good grief a private mansion how many rooms do you need look at it I'm beginning to think Call me Victor Melder if you want. I'm beginning to think I wish I'd driven up now to Ambleside in my car because I've got to get all the way back to my car, which is in Bowness. However, it's all uh, an adventure, isn't it?
if you spin the video back and you look at the beginning of it, you'll see how many people was actually sat outside on the uh, top of the roof here. And as you go further into the video, you'll see how many people are left on it. And that's not many. They've all gone downstairs and I don't blame them. <laughs> Right, here we are. Oh, jeez. <laughs> These fish and chips are bad be good. <laughs> right, okay. Onwards to the Codfather. Oh, blimey, I've got to tell you. I'm not, uh, I don't take uh, to water very well. And I think you'll know that if you watch the videos. Glad to be on uh, solid ground again. <laughs> right, from memory now, we have got a little bit of a walk uh, to the chippy. I think we've got about a 10 minute walk to get there. So uh, we better get a move on. And remember, they might recognize me from that last video saying, what are you doing? Giving us a bad name. So I'll take my glasses off and then Nobody will recognise me, I've got a fly in them now. There we go. Works for Clark Kent. This way. North, Miss Tessmarker. North, Miss Tessmarker. North. Stop right there. We've got Jason here, who's a viewer of the channel. You're into cars. Oh, yes. Uh, electric cars? No, no. Good. I like you already. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think the electric cars are the future? Uh, not at all. Not no. at all. Yeah, petrol still. Pe petrol um, all the way. Yes. Uh, electric cars. We call them battery operated yeah. cars. You've got some cars, apparently. Some yeah. nice cars. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in my mind, I haven't. And you're and like, like, yeah. Let's go and have a look. There we go. Little MG there. Look at that. Sorry, that's a Rover. Oh, MG, this is Rover, this is yeah, it. Yeah. Rover. Yeah. We've got an MG here. We're going to fire it up. Listen to this. Ooh. Oh. Smell that petrol. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, got MG there. That smell of petrol. Double it. Twin exhausts there as well. That sounds a beaut, that does. Now, Jason's told me a little something. You got more cars through there. My word, let's have a look. We've got more cars there, look at that. And then we've got a beautiful bike here. Now that is a nice yeah. bike, look at that. Prevent eth ethanol problems. We don't want an EV, we want to keep petrol. We'll put a drop of thing in a tank. Keep <laughs> that is gorgeous, wow. You watched my video I on the, uh, what was it, the, the Codfather. The Codfather. Well, <laughs> why are you saying it like that? What's Be, the... Because I'm local and, and, I've, and I've tasted it before. What's it like? <laughs> you, you should find out. <laughs> but... yeah, I'm not. I'm not getting good vibes about this. I've come over on a... I'm saying nothing, but the gentleman from Kendall was right. <laughs> I've come over on a boat from Bowness to go to the Codfather. And I was warned not to go to it by two people. Yeah. As soon as you saw you, I must tell you. And now you're local and you're telling me not to go. What's wrong with it? It's, uh, it's very expensive. You're right on that, but um, the quality is. Um, it's very expensive. Lacking. Right. Um, I t uh, well, I'm going to give it a go. I've got to give it a go <laughs> now. Go. Go. You're like, he's I might be wrong. Laughing. I might be wrong. They might have improved. <laughs> I'm thinking not. I hope they haven't seen my last video. I thought if I take my glasses off, yeah. a bit like you can't recognise me now, can you? No, 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 no you yeah. wouldn't even know who yeah. I was, so I thought I'd try that. Yeah. 
Right, I tell you what, what a, a lovely collection of, uh, <laughs> of uh, bikes. And I think I'd go for the... Uh, yeah, the oh, that's it, that's a Toyota. No, that's your, that's your, yeah, I thought, yes, yeah, a Toyota. I thought it was a BM, it's actually a Toyota. Yeah. I like that. And this that's is the nice. Yaris GL. Which and we've yeah. got the Yaris. What do you think to... Um, well, electric cars, what do you think to... If you had to have an electric car, would it be a Tesla or would it be a no, Taycan? It won't be either. I think I'd probably go for the the uh, Hyundai Ionic 5N, the, the the sport one, where you can still wouldn't have one, but if I, like. if I had to, it, but you can, and you can drive it as a manual car as well. You can yeah. change gear in it. Yeah, I think and I went to that in, in Australia. But, um, no, I would say it won't be a Tesla because um, yeah. the build quality is supposed to be terrible. But I've, no, I've never been in one. It's not but, good. Um, what do you think will happen? I know this is fish and chip video, but what do you think will happen to electric cars? I'll just go by the wayside. Um, I, th I think. I mean. Town, town centres, city centres, small, small electric cars like they, have, like they used to have, and, and you go to switch some places like that, and you know, in, in, in the town centres, great, but nothing for, for doing 100 miles or more, forget it, just, we, can't, we haven't got the infrastructure, the, the expense, depreciation that you always talk about, which are horrendous, yeah. um, you know, I mean, I, I've heard of many stories in Cumbria where people have brought Taycans, had them less than 12 months and lost £60,000. Oh, you tell it's, me about it. You know, it's, it's, it, it, it's true and it's out there, isn't it? Of course, you're trying to. And there's supposed to be a recall on the batteries now as well. Yeah. So that's it's not, not a good. The cost of a battery at forty thousand pound. Yeah. It's, uh, no, it's, it's, mean, it's just a snip. That. It's, oh, only, it's, it's, <laughs> only, it's only wealthy <laughs> company directors buying them, isn't it? And writing it off on tax. Oh, 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 silly people on yeah, YouTube. Silly people too. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say onwards, my friends? Onwards, my friends. <laughs> Petrol's the future. <laughs> <laughs> what about that? Fantastic. Meeting a, uh, a viewer there who's a bit of a petrol head. Nice guy. Hi, Jason. Thanks for that. And I will be back. I'm going to uh, go back. In my, he's never driven an electric car. So I'm actually going to let him drive my electric car. Big petrol head. And see what he thinks to electric cars. <coughs> Got on my chest, that. It's great, though, isn't it? Petrol cars. I am worried though, as he's now said, the Codfather is not good. <laughs> That's three people. Right, okay, disguise. And then I'm gonna take my uh, camera off of the tripod so he doesn't recognize me from the last video. Now I was warned twice not to go here. And now I've been warned again by a local not to go here and this time I am going to go here wish me luck can't, can't see without my glasses Hello. Hi, um, can I have um, fish and chips and mushy peas and a curry sauce please you don't know what bus I have to take to get to Bowness, do you? Do you know what bus I have to take to get back to Bowness? Bus? What bus? What bus? Yeah, which number bus do I take to get to Bowness? The bus stop is just the... Oh, around the corner? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Let's go down. Brilliant, yeah. The bus stop is stopping here. Awesome, thank you very much. That's my bus, by the way. 5.55. Bus 555, that's better, couldn't see. Right, we're gonna go and try these bad boys out. To be fair, they seem very polite in there, uh, although they couldn't understand what I was saying. Uh, but uh, that came to a total of, let's have a look, here we go, uh, fish and chips, uh, £17.65, that's fish, chips, mushy peas, curry sauce, and a tin of Diet Coke, uh, bonus pier. Ah, 599. That's maybe the bus I need. I'll have to get the next one. Anyway, let's go and see what these are like. Right, let's find a bench to sit on somewhere over here and enjoy them, hopefully. I am worried, but here we go. It's, ooh, oh, there's actually, I think there's a table there. Am I allowed in there? Table and chairs. How do I get in there? I don't think you can. Right, looks like that's all locked up, but there's a bench around here. Let's just go and eat them or see what they're like. After everybody telling me not to go here. And I've done it. 
and we're losing light. Here's a bench. Right, let's sit down and try these bad boys out. Oh, that's a bird muck on this bench. Sit carefully. Here we, oh blimey, here we go. Right, so there we go. We've got the mushy peas, the curry sauce, and we've got the fish and chips here. So here's the fish. Let's take a look at this fish. It's a bit moist <laughs> and the chips are very anemic, but we'll give it a go. Right, I've rested you on a uh, on a bin there so we can try these out. So batter, uh, very moist, but obviously it's been in this uh, tub for a little while. However, we're going to give this a bit of a go. <laughs> Reviewing on top of a bin. Um, let's have a look. The fish very thin, looks a little dry on the inside. It's on a tad on the dry side, however, it's not got a bad taste to the fish, to be fair. Um, the chips, though, very, very anemic. Extremely anemic. Hmm. They needed cooking a little bit more on them. The batter, as I say, very um as you can see there but it, they're steamed the problem is this has been closed up and steamed together with the chips and that's what's going to happen with the batter really should have had the fish wrapped separately and uh, i don't like them putting them in these boxes but saying that the fish itself tastes quite nice um go to the peas Right, wait there when you get the peas. Gonna nick, nick a couple of chips here. Peas, good uh, colour green without being too fluorescent. They're not bad, they're not the worst peas I've ever had. Um, let me give them another go. The chips though, just, I mean, come on, put them in for a bit longer. Curry sauce. Right. Yeah, look at them chips. They're not good chips. Right. In fact, look how limp they are. Could do with a blue pill or something, couldn't they? Curry sauce, not a bad consistency. Tad of a kick to it. To be fair, it's not bad curry sauce. I'm going to say fish. Let's back this up. Don't go anywhere, because we need to get back to my car, and that's going to be the fun part. The batter really is in, inedible. It's all, it's all sloppy because of the box. The fish itself, as I said, good taste to it. A little bit thin, if, if anything. Chips are just, I mean, very greasy and anemic. Um, I'm going to say all in all, out of ten, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a. Ooh, we should try the chips again. Oh, let's see. Hi. Hmm. I mean, come on. I'm going to go with a. I can't eat the rest of them. I'm going to go with a. Uh, I'll probably eat the fish. I'll leave the chips. Uh, I'm going to go with a five. How's that? There we go. A five. I was warned not to go there three times. I wouldn't say they're the worst fish and chips that I've ever had. Um, but they're, um, they're up there. <laughs> we have to be like that. They're okay. If you're hungry, you'll eat them. There is the other place that I went to the other week. Uh, leagues ahead of these. But as I say, there we go. That's a review. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'll see you in a minute because we've got a bus to catch to get back. And I'll show you how to have a free wee when we get back. Just eat the rest of the fish. Them chips are just, yeah, blimey. Mm. Hey, 
my diet coke. I think I might have been a little bit over generous there with the score, but they are the cod father, and I don't want to wake up with a horse's head on my pillow. Uh, I'm going to say <laughs> the five out of ten, probably a little bit generous. Um, but as I say, I mean, it, it, I mean, good grief! It was like a fish and chips are like an old married couple. The fish was dry and the chips were limp. Make of it what you will. It's a family channel. Anyway, moving swiftly on, let's go and get the bus. Get this taste out of my mouth. Grease. Come on onwards. Right, just waiting for my bus now. Uh, just want to get back to my car now. All this for poor quality fish and chips that I was warned about many times, even on the day. Hi, it's Bonash, thank you. Thank you. Ah, look at this, an open top bus, just like when I was in San Francisco, freezing my oh, things off. Oh, are we ready for this? I don't think it's going to be like going over the Golden Gate this time. Oh. Whose bright idea was this? Freezing. When it was cold on the boat, this is worse. Oh, I'm getting off here. It's a little bit uh, further up than I needed to be, but it doesn't really matter because I'm back in Bowness and I can walk to my car. Oh, that was brisk. Right, back to the car. I had to make a little stop there. Didn't put it on camera, I went to the co-op. I'm trying to find a Spider-Man Pez for my lad, James. He keeps wanting a Spider-Man Pez and I can't find him anywhere. Now, fish and chip shop there, which I've been to quite a while ago, but I'm not quite sure what it's like. I can't remember. Right, I need the loo. I don't know whether you can see me now, actually. And I'm going to show you how to have a wee for free. Right. 50p. I don't, don't try this at home because I'm going to pay after because I'm a Law of Ireland citizen. But there's a sensor there. There we go. Anyway, I didn't go in, honest. And, uh, you know, I'll pay, contactless. I mean, if you've got no coins, uh, well, they don't accept coins, contactless only. So uh, do pay, don't try that at home because that's naughty, but yeah, you can just put your hand over the sensor. Uh, but there we go, don't do that. Anyway, I don't really want to do the outro in a toilet, in a public toilet, it feels a bit weird, especially with the camera. I'm going outside. Right, I don't know whether you can see me. I can't see where I'm going now. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. It's, I don't like these dark nights. Uh, there we go. So I was warned not to go to that chippy and I was warned again today. So uh, probably won't be going back now. Uh, wasn't the best. Steer well, try them for yourself maybe. I didn't like them. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. That was a long one, just to get some fish and chips. Back to my car and uh, that's me done for the day. If you did enjoy the video though, do give us a thumbs up. Sure you hit that subscribe button 
and I'll see you guys in the next one. I can't see now, I'm blinded. Bye bye.